Milk Diary, Day 12. No suspect yet in sight. I have suspicions, but nothing concrete. Milk has been disappearing from the fridge almost as soon as it's put in there. Already spent the weekly budget. Things are getting desperate. Terry resorted to leaving his milk out of the fridge altogether. <laughs> they say he'll be back from the doctors in a few days. Still no sign of Adam. But then again, he's normally too high to remember the way back to the flat anyway. Most likely still thinks it's Easter break. Distrust has led to a full breakdown of our friendships. The corridor is a place of conflict. Dave seems to think it's all a big joke. Hasn't come out of his room in a couple of days. There's no way to communicate with people. The milkman has not withheld in letting his presence be known every single day. There are suspicions as to the identity of our corridor milkman. Sadly, none of them have any substance, as I discovered yesterday with Sophie's revelations. John! What is it, Sophie? I think I found out who the milkman is. How? Well, I went into the kitchen this morning and I saw Dave pouring out some cereal into a bowl mic. So I was thinking, what's he doing? So I said, hmm? What do you think you're doing? And he said, what does it look like I'm doing? And I said, well, it looks like you're having cereal, but you wouldn't be planning to have that with some milk, would you? And then he was all, no, I'm having it plain. So I was like, yeah, right. Who eats bran flakes without milk? And then he said, what are you trying to say? And I said, whatever you think I'm trying to say. And then he said, maybe you should watch what you're saying. So I said, maybe you should watch what you're doing. And then he said, yeah, well, finders keepers lose weepers. And then I didn't say anything because that didn't make any sense. So obviously it's him. He's the milkman. Dave? Yeah? Because he's eating bran plates. Without milk. Due to this, I've had to take the investigations into my own hands. I will have to decipher this mystery quickly. Or it escalates beyond me.
got the cat dragged in. Mike, I the... told you red-handed. Well, Mike, no, this is not what it looks like. Look, I just came, I just came to have a look. Save it. I've got the proof right here on my camera phone. Oh no, wait. That. Actually, that came out a bit dark. Put the ruddy thing away! I call the shots thief. I knew it was you. I just knew it. This is why I do psychology. It gives me the criminal eye. I knew it was you. I knew it the marmite. What about the marmite? You told me it was like Nutella! Well, it has a sort of texture. It tastes nothing like Nutella! Oh, marmite's so hard to describe. Would you describe tar as bloody chocolate spread? You either love it or you hate it. What kind of definition is that? I don't know, they put it on the pot. Really? Yeah, it's kind of the official thing. Yeah, well, bad taste makes bad people, and there's no denying your taste for our milk. I knew you'd come to the bait like a cat to the cream, and now I've caught you. Your milky tyranny is over! Shut up, you pompous tart! Look, I only came in here because, well, if somebody leaves a bloody fridge open, someone's gonna come and see what the hell is going on! Like the milkman? There is no milkman! Came in here because I heard a noise, saw the light was on, then realised the fridge was open, thought I'd check it out. Yeah, well I'm only here so the milkman would come in, hear a noise, see the light, realise the fridge was open and check it out. Isn't that a coincidence? You're insane. No, I'm a psychologist! There's a difference. Really? I couldn't tell. Maybe I'll just tell the others and let them decide. I'll just send this off to them and see what they think. No, wait, Mike, you're making a mistake. Look, look, all my milk is here and accounted for. Wow, you've convinced me. No, it's just Jane's number. I have two. This is my milk. Why would I steal milk? I can't even drink that big bottle. Well, I don't see your name on it. That's it. I'm not fat! No. No, no, I never... No. No, my name. Don't you see? It's so simple. Our names. What? I think I know how to beat the milk man. Milk Diary, Day 20. I think it's safe to say our problems are over. The milkman has not made an appearance for over a week now, ever since I introduced the new system to identify and protect our milk. Now what you do, watch the charts. It's a simple system, easy and foolproof. After spending the money on some permanent markers, every bottle we buy is marked and measured, preventing easy theft and ultimately the corridor milkman from taking inconspicuously. Milk has never tasted so good. With good reasoning, I believe this will be my last entry. The case of the missing milk is officially... up and gets into his old milk truck, Mr. Milkman, won't you come? And when he's on his merry way, he'll keep on driving for all the day, there's never any rest for Mr. Milkman. Oh, Mr. Milkman, are you on your way? Oh, Mr. Milkman, are you coming today? Oh, Mr. Milkman, won't you please come so I can drink some milk this morning? Oh, Mr. Milkman, won't you please come so I can drink some milk this morning? Oh, Mr. Milkman, won't you please come so I can drink some milk this morning? Oh, Mr. Milkman, won't you please come?
so I can drink some milk this morning.